Hello. Uh, this is Young Park. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate um, uh, lab two, exercise one. Um, this exercise is about um, getting iris data data set, and then uh, build the artificial neural networks with 453 architecture we are also going to um, implement the um, forward pass and uh, back propagation and then lastly we're gonna um, use the model for classification um, so here I did the um, pre-processing and then um, uh, I implemented the um, neural network um, so it used a uh, sigmoid function for uh, activated activation function and um, yeah so um, so um, weight one is between uh, layer one and layer two which is hidden layer it is between uh, layer one and two and it's um, five by four um, vector and weight two is between two and three layers um, and it's a uh, three by five um, vector matrix and then we're gonna do uh, the inner product which is dot method uh, weight one and x which is input and we do the uh, activation, activation function with sigmoid and it will be the input for uh, this dot method with uh, weight 2 and then finally we will get the output which is y2 and then we're gonna do the <coughs> backward pass which is back propagation um, we get the error here and the delta which is derivative of activation function times error so it will be added um, to the weight every uh, this for loop and alpha is the learning learning rate Yeah, you'll, you can see the um, dimension of the vector. And um, yeah, I use the classify function, but it um, all predict as uh, space species 2 which is um, this virginica I guess that's because it is such a small data set or maybe I did something wrong anyways the accuracy of the network is uh, 0 0.36 
it's kind of poor uh, accuracy. Okay, exercise two uh, is about um, yeah, this uh, Cypher data set, Cypher 10 data set is a bunch of images. I think it's from Toronto. Um, we're going to uh, predict what is the image is. So we're gonna use um, MLP with TensorFlow um, and then sequential API to build a model. Um, so you will um, stack the layers the hidden layers like this with all the parameters and then learning rate um, you compli compile the model and um, you train model uh, every uh, epoch you'll get the improved accuracy because it's learning and then you can check also uh, train history the loss function is decreasing by epochs um, and then you'll get to evaluate the model uh, the accuracy is much better And then you'll use the model to make prediction like this. So let's see the code. Um, so I import library and then load the data set and I um, set the classes name and then data processing, pre processing, and uh, build the first MLP model with uh, three three hidden layer uh, four hidden layer with uh, SGD for optimizing the model um, so fit the model and then you can see the accuracy is increasing and also, we can plot the loss uh, by epoch. See every uh, epoch, you will see the improved loss function. Um, so, I evaluate the first model, and uh, accuracy is 0 0.505. Um, and then uh, we'll you will uh you, we will use the model to make the prediction you see a uh, blue one is a uh, good prediction and red one is fail okay uh we will try uh model 2 with uh more various and more layers and different optimizer and you see it's much better accuracy um, it tends to more layer uh, kind of promise better accuracy but it takes much longer time compared to the first model uh, it was like almost just one minute but the second model is almost four minutes so it's kind of trade-off and we evaluate the model like this and uh, also we make the prediction see the much better uh, result so uh, conclusion is sequential API is the easiest way of making um, neural network with uh, TensorFlow uh, 2.
but it's kind of limited compared to other uh, options which is functional API and um, model subclassing and second point is um, the more layer means better accuracy but it's time consuming too thank you for watching